So let's just go. Let's just be free. Okay, hello guys, welcome to a new video. Today I'm going to be real quick because the GoPro is almost out of battery and I have a lot to show you. Uh, the first thing I want to show you is this hood I bought last week. It's from Fjall Rave and my size is L slash XL. And this is a pretty nice hood of course, it is made in China, even though the brand is not from China. But I, I don't have anything against China personally, at least the products, the economic systems and stuff. It's something different, okay, we'll move on. So this is nice, this is like a nice subtle uh, logo of Sweden flag and the nice subtle logo of the Fjallrava uh, brand. So as you can see, this is a navy or marine blue. I chose this because yeah, I didn't really want black, but I didn't really also want like a lighter color. I was considering light gray, but I didn't see light gray in the store. And this, like, I'm, I like the color. As you can see, it's also the color of my shirt. And today's video topic, I'll also make it um, immediately like sun protection. As you can see, there's a lot of sun. The sun is very bright, which is why I bought this hat and I sometimes get like headaches from the sun. And I've already tested this and already went out in the sun and I didn't get any headaches, so it does work. I don't know what the UPF uh, rating is or the sun protection rating, but my girlfriend's hat, I will show you in a few minutes as well or in a few seconds, is UPF um, 40 plus I think. Uh, so this is also almost the same material, so I think it's kind of the same UPF rating, but I already saw a difference, so I'll put it on now, so you see how it looks and you'll see how my hair changes. I think it changes more after you wore it a while, but as you can see it's nice to put on, um, it doesn't look too crazy in my opinion, maybe you can comment in the comments below, it has a nice um, opening here as well to show you so it's very smooth it's very comfortable on the skin and you can like like this is built to like hold it and bring it up and down it's very nice and very user friendly so it fits for me personally perfectly i don't need a thing here that makes it tight i don't, I don't miss it at all and we have three strong winds here and I will test it. I will put it in the video if it went well or not. Um, because I think the GoPro will run out. Um, to, so to quickly move on, I will also review this quick thing. This is a buff. I think all of you other people know what a buff is. This is to keep you either warm or cool. But also I bought it for sun protection. Because I plan to go trekking and I want to be protected from the sun. Um, the older I get, because when I was young I didn't really use matte that much sun protection but also always use um, sun cream or I don't know what it's called yeah I think sun protection cream spray or anything in that nature I personally use 50 plus most of the time and sometimes 30 plus on my face um, but yeah the one I have here in my hand you do have to pay attention when you buy them online they are different like for this one this one is uh, this, so it's for activity high level, so you can sweat a lot in it, and for weather conditions. I, I made a sorry, I made a mistake of buying this first because I didn't see it in the store, so I bought a low activity level, and the weather condition is cold. So of course, in the summer, like it's sunny now, I definitely not recommend buying this version. And you can see clearly here the thickness difference how thick it is in uh, comparison to this how thin this is and this is like two layers on each other as you can you can clearly see the difference so I'll, for those who don't know how buffs work or how you put it on it's like self-explanatory it always gives you like an indication of how you can wear it on the itself as you can see here and I will just uh, show you how it looks on me and you can immediately maybe see if my hood messed up my hair or not because I do use a uh, cream in my hair and you can maybe see it flatten it out a little bit and like for you guys that also have curly hair you kind of now know how it will look 
So I will now put on the buff. I don't know how many uh, percentage we have now. Oh, I can see it here. 27. Okay, so we're good still. Um, okay, so we'll just put it on like this. So as you can see, it fits like this on my neck. Like I recommend to put it under your shirt so you're protected overall. Like if you're planning to be a long time in the sun and you don't want to get sunburn or even more tan. Like for me, for example, I don't mind getting tan, but I get like very, very crispy, like a burnt uh, barbecue. So that's why I really need like sun protection. So the way you can use it, you can like double it up, of course, if you want extra warmth, but I only use one layer now. And it's not warm at all. And I think you can hear me clearly. It just it gives it that extra layer of protection. And maybe it looks crazy, but I mean, I think it doesn't look that bad. I mean, you can judge it for yourself. My girlfriend is looking at me crazy, so it might look a bit crazy. And I'll put the hat on. So with this setup, like you can be in the sun for like hours, but your face is protected. And of course you can consider long sleeve shirts that are thin but also like UPF rated that protects you from the sun and then you won't get any sunburn and then you can enjoy being in the sun for a very long time. And of course I'm not a doctor but I think most people know the risk of being in the sun. A lot of people don't want protection but it's very important to prevent like skin cancer and just bad skin conditions. Like if you want to stay good looking a bit like me a bit and look young then I very very much recommend like using sun protection so this is how it looks I won't use this today because it's not really that bad and I also have this hood so I'll just give it uh, take it off now and we're also in a public park so I don't really want to scare anyone not that it's scary, I don't know, you guys judge for yourself. Is it scary if I walk around like this? I think it's scary. Okay, my girlfriend says it's a bit scary, <laughs> but for me, I've it's seen, good. Yeah, it's I've seen a lot of people in the mountains with this kind of protection. And I've hiked in this setup already before. Not with a hood, but with a, um, a beanie. And like everyone in my group wore it as well. It's just nice protection for when it's cold better, you use the thin buff and when it's uh, what's colder weather than you use the warmer buff and thicker buff and this one is like shorter but it keeps you very warm i might i might show you how it looks now actually then you can see both the, the difference maybe my hair looks a bit crazy now but then you can see how your hair kind of messes up if you use these kind of things and if you're worried about your hair your hair um, so this is a warmer buff I'll put it on now. Okay. So you can see this is a warm buff. It is very warm. I mean, this is 100% Merino wool. It's very high quality. It is comfortable, but I will take it off quickly. So I'll just show you how it looks. So this is basically how it looks. And uh, yeah, this is it. So I'll take it off now because it's very, very warm. So this will definitely keep you warm in the winter. Um, but definitely don't recommend it when it's sunny and warm. Um, I don't know what else I can show you. Oh, I can show you my girlfriend's hood. She also bought one. She has the North Face version. And I'll quickly take the camera now. Okay, so this is my hat. It's from North Face and it's got UV protection because my skin at the top of my head gets sunburned very easily. Um, so yeah, this is very, very nice. And it's got an extra strap right here. And I think that just really helps with the wind because right now it's, uh, the wind is pretty hard, but I don't really feel different. So it's a very nice hat. I don't know what to say about it. It's very practical. This doesn't get like in the way of your face. It just stays like that. Yeah, it's nice. Okay, so you guys heard it yourself. And while she was talking, I got these um, tags. So the one that you saw first, the marine blue, that was 49.95. And yeah, that's what it's called. 
and the ones you're seeing here what she has on that one was 39.95 that's from north face and yeah that's the tag of this one and it also even came with this so you can also see what i just mentioned like it's very nice for uh skin protection and it's very recommended to use uh protection in every in the sun of course because it is radiation and you don't want it if you want to like enjoy the outside always do recommend protection so yeah this was the video i'll let my girlfriend close the video now i think this one is better for what you pay for i don't know just because of this strap maybe i'm biased because i really love this hat but yeah they are both very very nice okay so you if you guys like the video click the like button comment what is your favorite food subscribe or, to this channel yes and if you have a different recommendation of like food or hats um, leave it in the comment below thank and you eat your carrots. and eat your bye. carrots okay bye bye <laughs>